Hello viewers, thanks for joining me again. Jean back with more Mars Anomalies. Megaliths and wreckage west of Alexei Tolstoy on Mars. This is the high-rise photograph we'll be analyzing. Convergence of lobate crater fill acquired on the 22nd of December 2009. 25 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing you images cropped from the black and white map projector JP2 and the area we'll be looking at is this dark area to the right. This is a crop from the low res JPEG. So the first anomaly looking at that uh, there we've got it looks like um, a metallic top part with uh, rectangular openings that part there seems to be rounded here we've got what looks like a rectangular opening and then on top we've got uh, what looks like a smaller dome like feature and then two smaller parts to the left and this looks like some type of opening with this part sticking out underneath so it looks like a little dome sphere like feature or part there the next anomaly is this one in the center of the screen there's this plectrum sort of shape with four smaller features on the top. The one here in the center looks like a smaller dome like feature or knob. Okay, the next anomaly we're going to be checking out is uh, in this area towards the bottom right. We've got what look like multiple metallic parts maybe megalithic slabs check at the geometry in this uh, object out to the left got smaller features or parts or knobs on the surface and then uh, two triangular pieces of here and that looks uh, like it could be some sort of other metallic metal plating perhaps it's a little brighter than the rest of these little parts in the middle anomaly but like a metal plate it's been bent into an arc over here straight edge running through there and then uh, it looks like a slot in this one side and then uh, on the top looks like smaller parts this looks almost like some sort of piping perhaps smaller dome or spherical feature there and a triangular knob part up here and then this piece to the top right got a triangular piece sticking out, look at that flat side over here straight edges and it seems to have a circular opening over there and then uh, here yeah, we've got multiple rounded, flat rounded pieces sticking out it's what looks like a hole over there and this looks as if it's part of a circular flat side with a strange uh, piece sticking out there very similar to this slightly bent up and then uh, another rounded flat piece sticking out of this opening here and then check it the way this uh, piece is uh, rounded over here and it goes underneath here into the shadow I'm not sure what that could be some type of technology, machinery engineering 
and then uh, this piece over here with multiple small little spherical knobs or parts on it and this looks like uh, another type of opening yeah perhaps look at that line running through there multiple uh, anomalies in this piece check out this one with another one of these uh, long narrow rounded pieces sticking out of this darker rounded area this would be some type of opening Okay, the next anomaly is this block with this trapezoid, rhombic shape, straight edges, and a smooth surface there. Check out the geometry in this piece. And in this area here yeah, looks rather suspicious. It looks like we've got uh, what looks like a, a square, sort of rounded piece like a lid possibly. Could this be a, a cover of sorts? It looks like a convex shape. And then a strange parts to it. Check out this piece here, yeah. got a rounded edge here, yeah. on the other side another rounded edge and then uh, a square piece sticking out here yeah. that joins to a part that's going through in that direction. And then uh, this piece over here, yeah. a rather reflective could it be another type of material perhaps and then this piece over here looks like a little square like a cube over here and then piping possibly running through here and then to the side we've got another metallic looking piece an oblong dome like feature or part to it and a triangular object sticking out here yeah? check it the straight sides rounded corner here yeah? okay we're looking at uh, these anomalies over here yeah? what looks like uh, more uh, metal sheets or plates to get these two over here well defined edges straight edges and then uh, with parts lying here between these two metal sheets or as I speculate metal sheets looks like a, a round part almost like a, a cylinder the rounded opening or piece here to the side check out the ridge line running across here and then on the top with this narrow piece sticking out over the edge a rounded side there we go, what looks like a, a triangular piece here. Yeah. And then inside there, especially this part, looks as if it could be a, a part of this, with a rounded dome like shape over there. multiple strange pieces check out this piece in the shape of an M this opening of here right, so these also rather strange looking uh, ports perhaps look at this bright reflective triangular part there 
three smaller dome like knobs or parts there and then three of those over here as well the larger conical part or shape over there also this looks uh, like part of a destroyed machine some type of tech maybe the straight edge over here and then a smaller oblong feature on the top and then uh, equally sized little part in a circular pattern look at that ridge over there circular ridge line another really bright rounded piece sticking out here yeah? okay so that anomaly is located to this side there we go yeah get this um, straight edge running through here it takes a turn a rounded piece there and it continues with a line over here that's like this triangular piece partially buried there's that smaller part in the shape of an M check out the small ball or sphere lying on this rounded piece here we've got multiple smaller parts that look like uh, U-shaped horseshoe type of uh, pieces or parts got some layering going on over here and then uh, two smaller square like parts sticking out of this opening top we've got another open rounded piece looks like that could be an opening perhaps like a vent smaller triangular part there and it comes around into a rounded piece here and in this part looks as if it may be running underneath this it might be part of this with a rounded part there I don't know what we're looking at here and in here too another anomaly in the shape of an M straight sides here get the geometry and symmetry so yeah it looks like a piece of uh, metal lying on top of this definitely some layering of here as well definitely some design in these uh, features and so we're checking out uh, this bunch of parts we get this piece of here straight side takes a 90 degree angle bend down there smaller little dome or feature on the top and then two of these flat pieces sticking out the rounded corners three dome like parts or features in a triangular pattern on the top there that seems like a ridge line running through there and then uh, could this piece continue out here 
with that part lying over it, over there. And then it seems to join to this piece of here. Looks almost like a pipe. And then opening here to the right. And it runs in underneath this part with smaller little domes on it or spheres. Please let me know what you people think of this. I have no clue whether these are megaliths, um, machinery, destroyed tech, some type of engineering in these parts. Check this out here. Yeah? But this part with a very long narrow piece sticking out there. It looks like a little ball on the one end. Then we've got another V-shaped part to it. Here we've got another really strange object. It's almost in the shape of a, a golf club. That could, you could say that's the shaft and that the, the end. I don't know. Um, with a little knob or feature on it there and then this piece lying underneath this almost parallel with this straight edge as well and there's another triangular bright part to that object at the top Checking out these anomalies in the center again. Look at the geometry in this. It looks like a, an indentation of sorts with an opening here. And then it looks like three rings on the one side. There's a little square part in this um, opening here and a little ball on the top and that looks like a smaller ring next to it. And over here we've got more really artificial looking parts, objects. We've got another triangle, another one here, and uh, also another triangular piece there. That looks like a little pipe sticking out of that side. This part here looks almost like a silencer, a cause exhaust pipe. To get that, uh, looks like a pipe running out here. This piece seems to uh, be totally bent into that U-shape, the smaller dome feature there. Now we've got another flat rectangular part sticking out there. looks like some piping running across this looks like an opening as well could these be um, some sorts of habitat perhaps <clears throat> get this irregular piece here as well straight sides, 90 degree angles, we've got this rectangular part sticking out there, this 
slot at the yeah with two equally sized uh, dome like features or parts there we've got another one of those smaller ones there it looks like we've got five of them one yeah there there yeah and there and then yeah we've got another sort of v-shaped part in the center of the surface of this larger object checking out those anomalies there get the symmetry in this piece and that piece there put a rounded part here rounded there rounded side there and there point over here and a point over there and then it looks uh, Maybe this could close these two sides, I don't know, because that looks as if that will fit nicely in there. That one part triangular piece will fit in nicely there. And then yeah, we've got an opening with that smaller piece sticking out. It's almost some sort of flower. Not that it is, but yeah, if it closes, it definitely it looks like some type of uh, machine. And then yeah, to another smaller part. Check at that uh, long narrow piece there. It also looks like a piece of sheet metal that's bent into a rounded part there. An opening yeah. And then this looks like uh, it's right there, guys. Some sort of machine. Check out the three similar shaped parts there and here as well. And then uh, two rounded spherical pieces there or parts looks like uh, some type of opening we've got some layers of here this really bright rounded piece sticking out there got no idea what we're looking at here guys that piece there look at the design in this object it looks like an opening here with this uh, rectangular piece sticking out 90 degree angle here and two similar sized dome-like features or parts could this be uh, an opening to an underground entrance where I have no idea this looks like uh, it could be one piece in two steps or uh, a layer on top of this one straight sides smooth surfaces and then these that looks like it could be uh, a hole perhaps and then that there sort of a oblong dome like feature or knob that there looks like a little spherical feature as well Checking out those anomalies in the center. Three similar sized features in a row, equally spaced. This piece looks like uh, 
an oval, almost like a shield. Little oblong feature on the top, this one as well. And then here we've got, looks like a, a square part with a rounded ball over here. That looks like it could have joined to this through that uh, connector over there. And uh, this looks if it's bent over this bottom part. Check out the opening over here. Another one of those uh, disc like, flat disc like objects with a feature in the center. And we've got three of these really strange bright parts. I have no clue what this is. Checking out this anomaly to the bottom right. Straight edges. That looks like a, an oblong dome like part there. Another one of these. It looks almost like winglets. Just go back a bit. He has three of them, you know. And then uh, we've got another one there. Totally uh, mangled, whatever this was. What is it? It's located there. Right. more layering um, parts lying on top of parts sheet metal check out that uh, square piece there lying on top of this side of this totally bent looks like metal plate that's been bent there's another one on that side with the oblong feature or opening there. Here another one of those hexagonal shaped pieces. Another smaller hexagon shaped part there and a smaller one there. Parts upon parts upon parts. Here we got another thing that looks like a winglet. This looks like some type of opening. Whatever this is, it's totally destroyed. Wrecked. Those are the anomalies you're looking at. This looks like it could be an opening of a year consisting of uh, multiple broken pieces that have been packed around <coughs> arranged into this uh, shape. Check this out, straight edges here, flat surfaces again, definitely uh, layered this too I've uh, got no idea um, check out the straight part over here two smaller features behind it. Here we've got uh, another one of these metal plate looking pieces sticking out. 
was so look spent with an opening of the air. smaller dome like features this is intriguing we've got more of these little winglets we're looking at those anomalies there check out this yeah and there and then uh, this looks like Type of a rectangular opening, and then this I don't know what that could be. It's a looks like a pipe coming out of that side and then going into this bigger piece. You've got smaller circular parts sticking out. Home like part there that looks like a pipe running along here and then these anomalies we looked at those here yeah? and these look similar check this out could this be one part this and that be one part covered in sand and dust. These straight edges as well. Smaller part in the center of that piece. We got that block over here, and then uh, multiple sheet metal or plates lying layered on top of each other. Look at all these uh, really strange, look like uh, pipes sticking out there. There we got another one running across really thin pipe maybe two similar sized uh, rounded features there looking at these anomalies also this looks like uh, machinery to me Check out uh, this, it looks like uh, some engineering went into this. Got uh, it looked like metallic parts. Look at that uh, opening of here, square opening, the rounded corner, that all dome like part to it there. Got something sticking out of this opening. Yeah, we got another rectangular piece, and then uh, looks like the two stepped part to it on the top. Could this be a pipe? And then over here, there we've got a hexagonal part. Well, it looks like uh, an opening over here. There we've got another piece. Could be uh, similar to this side, partially buried. Maybe um, these two things are symmetrical not quite sure here we got um, looks like a 
Chevron tripod. Multiple little pieces all over. This looks like a top of a box. And an opening here. Checking out these uh, artifacts in the center. Now, um, this looks like a junk pile. It looks like an um, absolute pile of junk. Um, metallic parts and pipes and artificial looking items. Check out these uh, pipes over here. Multiple openings to this piece. There's a, a rectangular part over here. Lots of what looks like sheet metal. And then uh, this looks like a megalithic block, the knob. Check out that V shape over here. Check out the anomaly in the center of the screen. Now, is this, uh, could this be a broken megalithic piece with three smaller knobs on it? Or is this uh, also some type of technology? Check out this piece here with what looks like a pipe sticking out this one side. Checking out this uh, really bright piece, straight edge, relatively flat surface. There's anomalies in the center. Again, uh, we're looking at parts of. Uh, machinery here yeah, to get the chevron shaped piece here yeah. straight edges there's a triangular piece sticking out there little ball over here looks like a piece of pipe over there This also looks like some sort of metal. This long piece sticking out here, yeah? straight edges. And then uh, two similar sized features on the top. Yeah, as well, looks like a little winglet. This piece looks bent. So that could be part of it. It's partially buried over here. Totally smashed, whatever it was. And then uh, this really odd looking rounded piece. Um, with these smaller features arranged in a circular pattern to get the geometry in that. Now, uh, this too. I'm not sure if this could be megalithic. Smaller features. Could that be a dome-like knob there. Where is this metallic? Check out the line running through here. It looks almost as if uh, 
It's a piece of sheet metal over this bottom part. And then here, looks like an opening. And then two equally sized parts there. Yeah, two looks like a type of rectangular opening. And this piece could have been part of this, and it's partially buried there. And uh, this also looks rather strange. Got this uh, rounded clearing here. This area seems to be cleared. And then uh, of a hexagonal part, partially buried. Check out the dome-like feature here. Sort of a half a dome-like feature. Yeah, we've got um, another bright object with two almost parallel smaller parts. Also looks like a little winglet over here. Bottom left. This looks like it could be a metal plate. That'd be a top of a hatch perhaps. Another plectrum shaped object. Check out the symmetry in that shape and then smaller features arranged in a circular pattern in the center of this larger object. <coughs> Check out this uh, bend over here. Yeah, that uh, anomaly there. Also, um, some type of megalithic stone with multiple faceted sides, smaller oblong dome like feature there, A rectangular feature here. Get this strange piece sticking out of the ground or sand. Could have been some type of craft that is crashed here. I don't know. Okay, check out uh, this anomaly there. Straight sides and then this rounded corner. And it looks as if there's a, a hole there in the center with a smaller rectangular piece sticking out. So this looks like a similar shaped object the rounded side here. <clears throat> okay. Check out this also multiple layers in this A rounded side yeah that's what it looks like an opening of here yeah. this looks like a, a rounded part that's slightly above the rest of this how bright it is a triangular slot or I don't know and then this piece looks like um, could be a disc like object it's partially buried with this side sticking out 
Mara at peace. And then these anomalies, yeah? Check out the symmetry in these two triangular objects. There we got two equally sized parts on the top of the surface there. Yeah, we got uh, two in this direction. Yeah, we got uh, a square, straight sides, 90 degree angles. And then, yeah, we got uh, another rectangular piece with rounded corners sticking out. And then uh, it looks like there's a piece of um, metal plate lying over here, covered in dust and sand. And then this piece sticks out from underneath it. Also nicely defined edges. And then this rectangular opening over here. And the smaller part sticking out. Also this piece got uh, two parallel oblong parts or features, maybe slots or openings next to one another. Check out the geometry and symmetry in this shape. Looks like a little ball or sphere lying over there. Yeah, we've got a part sticking out of uh, this opening perhaps could that be a uh, top of a hatch as well for those two being like a handle and then we've got uh, what looks like a megalithic block with a straight sides 90 degree angle a little knob in the center of that side. This looks more, more like a megalith. The other stuff we've been looking at might be wreckage of uh, some type of technology or machinery, some type of engineering. And then yeah, too, this looks like a more metallic sheet metal or plate that's been bent with what looks like could be some type of uh, piping perhaps could this be a uh, type of an underground entrance way and this covering the hole Maybe they used this debris and wreckage uh, to cover up underground entranceways, who knows. And then uh, that uh, almost perfect geometrical shape, straight edges, really bright surface with this smaller bright piece over here. And then three, I don't know what these could be, but there's some geometry in this uh, arrangement there. Could this part be a piece of this, or is it another one of these bright metal-like objects underneath this one? Another one of these uh, almost cube-like megalithic parts. Check out the sides. Very eroded piece, like limestone. And yeah, but another one of these uh, strange rectangular um, features in the center of this disc-like part, object, so, uh, nice
not sure what that is. And then this one lying on its own, right there in that opening. So, um, straight edge here, yeah? and then partially buried. Could that be the top of a handle, maybe? One hole, one opening. Check out this, it looks like uh, some type of machine, a rounded part to the front, and then, then this rectangular opening here, and a small dome-like feature on the top. Looks like that there could be a part of it, yeah as well. We got like uh, four good as have been wheels. No, two on either side. Another one of these uh, plectrum shaped objects. And then uh, we got three features in a row here, yeah? and on this side three in a row there. So some geometry and symmetry in this. And another megalithic type block. Check out the straight sides. Smooth surfaces, 90 degree angles, more like a block. We're looking at those anomalies there. We would like a hexagonal smaller piece on top of this, the dome like feature at the top. We got like a rectangular part, maybe that's an opening of here. And then, uh, I don't know, this looks like, uh, it's definitely rounded to that one side. And it runs down here, maybe it's bent. And then you've got like a very bright circular feature on the top. <clears throat> and there looks like a square or a cube, a little pipe sticking out the side and then it takes a bend down there. Part of something over there. Get this piece as well. like an opening in this one side straight edge straight edge to three similar sized and spaced dome like features on the top check that out as well Almost like a clover shaped thing, smaller features on the top. Now we've got a strange uh, piece lying underneath this. Check out bends down there, and then uh, has what looks like an opening over here. Comes along 90 degree angle seems to be lying on top of this yeah and it's bent over this there's another opening that piece continues yeah and it's bent down into the shadow there and it comes around this looks like metal that's been ripped apart
Ja, tuurlijk. Ik zal het u de top of a machine that I showed you earlier in this video. With the rounded part on the front, the back, circular feature, the part on the top. Check out the opening of the ear. That bee sticking out. And this really bright part. This looks like another megalithic stone. It's got these straight sides, smooth surfaces. It looks like it broke off another piece. This also looks megalithic in nature. Little knob on the one side. And then this, could it be megalithic or is this uh, destroyed tech again? You got that uh, feature in the center of that larger part. And then this looks like um, busted up metal parts the straight side here and underneath it got another piece running through there this also looks like a piece of metal that's been bent and twisted to that L shape that looks like an opening, a rectangular opening smaller similar sized uh, rounded parts still looks like um, one piece bent down here goes on over here and over here was like uh, a cross that side bent down, this side bent down, and that one bent down, and then the other side's covered in sand. And then a uh, little square part on the top. Looks like two smaller domes or spheres there. That, would, that could be one too. <coughs> Pardon me. And then this... Uh, metallic looking piece with three smaller parts on the top running in a line parallel to this side or maybe that is a megalithic block little knobs on it okay I got uh, more layering this piece seems to be underneath this one that lies uh, on the top smaller dome-like feature there in the center that looks like a little pyramidal feature a donut shape feature there but no idea what that is yeah we got another one of these uh, very straight edges, 90 degree angle, smooth surface, very bright. I don't know what that could be. This looks like the top of a propeller that's been bent. Check that out. Yeah, <coughs> yeah we've got, pardon me, yeah, we've got. Um, it looks like this. This was a rectangular piece with these two circular parts. That one's been bent down, 90 degree angle. And that piece is sticking out there like a ringlet. That really looks like a bust-up propeller. 
Not that it is, but uh, well, that's what it looks like, eh? And then, uh, is this covering an entranceway? Totally bent. You got that edge. Another metal plate, maybe. Over here. Continues in the shadow and then goes along there. Just above the surface. And one, two, three, four, five. Smaller little dome like features there. That looks like a pipe, really thin pipe running along here. And that piece there, little hole in it, right in the center. And uh, yeah, th is this. Uh, a megalithic piece or uh, another engineered part. Check it this um, smaller part sticking out of this larger piece. There's an opening there, it's almost like a pipe, and it looks like two thin pipes coming out the opening over there. got another triangular part a little bit brighter than the rest so it could be bent up in an L-shaped smaller piece there and then this rectangular block lying on top of it and uh, this smaller part sticking out of this uh, could that be Part of this object, got that little, it's like a little winglet over here, parallel lines in those two pieces. Looks like an opening, yeah, as well, another rounded piece sticking out. That looks like a smaller little ball or dome. And then one, two, three, four, five smaller holes, or this could even be very small spheres or domes. Yeah, now this looks like it could be a piece of technology as well. So you got the slots over here, straight side, straight side, 90 degree angle. An opening there. You got the symmetry in that part. One side, yeah. Other side there. L-shaped piece, yeah. We got uh, look like three spheres or balls there, another one over here this looks like sheet metal that's bent and buried, partially buried yeah as well so could that be some type of uh, covering to an entrance way got the triangles in this uh, design here we've got a triangular piece, another one here, there's a little square on it there, so I'm uh, not sure what that could be either. Megalithic blocks maybe. So let's quickly have a look where this site is. Um, on Google Earth Mars. We follow the white line, thin white line, that's where uh, discovered all the 
other megaliths. These are two of the anomalies I've just shown you. Um, some more megaliths that I've found earlier, featured in one of my previous videos. And uh, yeah, so the story is coming together. I've got uh, this white line running to these uh, sites where I've discovered all these megalithic blocks and things. I think one day I must do a summary on everything that I've found. So yeah, these are located there. So you can see from the white line, these things are found everywhere in the northern hemisphere and uh, in the southern hemisphere. So check that out. That was the southern hemisphere northern hemisphere. Just need to find uh, a few more over here. And then the green and yellow lines, those are the so-called Kanowski Giza Pyramid Complex geometry lines. And that orange line runs down to Asimov. So do check out that video as well, if you want to find out more about these yellow and green lines, red and orange lines, that you'll find in the Kanowski project video. So that's it for this one. I know it was a bit long, I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Um, so do subscribe if you haven't, if you'd like to. And if you do remember turn, to turn on notifications. New subscribers, welcome on board. And uh, to my old regular subscribers, thank you for supporting the channel. I'll see you in the next video.